Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel. <laughs> so, uh, I did a little, uh, sneak peek a little bit ago of this big Target box that was sitting on my doorstep today. I know what's in it, but I'm only gonna open one of the three boxes that are inside today. Hopefully my battery is going to keep. If not, this video might not come out today, it might, might not come out tomorrow. But, uh, I will show you what's in here. I can get it open fast enough. Okay. Yeah, so inside here, as amongst all the different bubble wrap we have, we have Downtown BB. Shadow, and Uptown Girl, all of which have been previously released, uh, but they were released in expensive sets, and MGA, the nice people at MGA, were nice enough to re-release them in single sets. I don't know what's inside them, I don't know if they're going to be the same girls as the ones that were previously released, if they're going to be different, but uh, we're going to take a look at one of them today, so let me just move this uh, aside and I will, I don't know, blind pick who I'm going to open. Today we're going to be looking at um, Downtown BB. I thought for the longest time I thought it was Downtown Downtown Girl because there's an Uptown Girl, but it's Downtown BB, and it looks like her box is all done in cameo print. So we have uh, the sweep of it right here, where it says what, like the K part right here. It has turquoise tones in that camo coloration, and then over here you got the gray black and white camo. Mine has this weird scan tag on it. Like, I guess it must have came directly from the factory and not from their warehouse. I don't know. It kind of stinks that it's on the box because I am a box saver. I don't know if any of you are, but I'm a box saver. <laughs> Anyhow, so we have 20 surprises, uh, unbox fashions, dress, uh, and strut your stuff reusable dressing room and the, the package becomes a play um the play set this is part of series two i think i said at the beginning of the video it's a weird secondary wave that they made with three girls that were previously released okay so here it says downtown bb and this is done in more of a pinkish tone and then in the back, if you want to pause that to read that, you can go ahead and do that. But it says the same as it said on all the other uh, regular series uh, from Series 1 and Series 2. And then we have the silhouettes of all three from uh, Wave 2 of Series 2 on the bottom. Which we will be unboxing on this channel at a later date. So I'm going to try and go ahead and get... Uh, oh, okay. Ooh, ooh. All right, so that peeled right off there. I'm pretty excited for that. Because it looks like they put it right on the plastic part. So I was able to peel that off there. So, um... I haven't opened a regular, a regular Series 1 in a while. I think there's tape over here to take off. I have to be careful here. I don't want to rip it. Okay. Ooh! Sorry, guys. I think this comes off. Mm. Yes. And then if this comes off over here somehow, we'll figure it out. And there's more tape there. And then there's more tape right there. And then, okay, we got this part off, I think. Okay. That's the part we're not keeping. Okay. <laughs> and then, I th start here, so we pull this out, and this is going to pull out the girl. Uh, this is going to make it so we can see her artwork. Cool. Okay, up here, we have a little thing here. So it says, Downtown BB. Hashtag inspo. My city. Aesthetic. Of the moment streetwear. Style tip. When in doubt, mix and match. So 
So there is her artwork right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I, I originally did have a problem with her lips. I don't like that uh, the, the kind of two-tone that we've seen. Uh, we saw the same kind of two-tone um, with angles, which it, it kind of it kind of worked with her. Now that I once I saw her in person, so maybe it'll work with her once I see her. Okay, she's a Capricorn. All right, let's let's go ahead and oh, well, there she is. Ooh, guys, I like her a lot. Okay, let's pull this part out. Take a look at all of her accessories before we... Okay, that just fell right off. What is this? Uh, okay. I think it's okay that that fell off. I don't know where it fell off from. Okay. <laughs> so, we have our magazine here. And our magazine says Fashion BB Magazine, Spring of 2020. That's about right. What's your star sign? Capricorn. And then it says, the city lights are aligned. Today is the day to try something daring. December 22nd to January 20th. Cool. And then, hold on guys. Okay, so we have a shoe box here that is in, I don't really call it, I wouldn't call it a pink. I guess a transparent red. I guess that's what we're going with. On the front there you can see um, the little sister. If Blaze will get out of the way. Blaze, please get out of the way. Move your bum. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what's in our our hat box first. Not too much going on in there. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got stuff. All right, so here is our earrings. They are gold tone. These are cool. They're like a gold tone hoop. Looks like we have a bracelet here. That's also gold tone, but it's got a um, a clasp on it that's white. We have some really cool red glasses, sunglasses here that are transparent, so they'll probably look good on our girl. one single lock gold lock I don't know what it's for it looks like on her box art it goes on her earring she only have one lock on her earring and the other one doesn't have a lock I guess I don't know unless I'm missing a lock comment below if you guys think I'm missing a lock <laughs> okay let's put these back in here or I'm gonna be missing two locks Next up we have a shoe box that is transparent black with a silver, metallic silver top that says LOL OMG. And guess what? It's a size six and a half. And it looks like we got two boots in here. I wonder if these boots, it looks like a black one and a white one. I wonder if that's really a thing. Okay, so one boot is white, and one boot is white with a black tip. Okay, so they have red soles and they're high heel boots, and it almost looks like they have buckles, like uh, clip buckles, because they're both red clip buckles in the center, and they just have like reverse, so that one's white here, that one's black here, and then white there, and then black there, so... Okay, so they're matching but not matching. And of course the paper is done in camo too, but it's like a, it's a, um, a hot pink camo 
on white. Next up we have one of our garment bags and this is one of the bigger ones. It's a uh, brick with a bunch of hearts on it and it says different things like uh, can't stop, won't stop, different is beautiful, uh, big city, what else does it say on it? Rest you are ready, Rungus? Rungus? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's just check to see what's inside this bag. So it looks like we have pants in here. Oh, these are nice. They're, um... <sighs> what's the word I'm looking for? Ah! They're like canvas pants. They have, uh, an elastic on the bottom by the ankles. And they are camo. Um, they have belt loops on the top, and then they have these, this really, really thick striping of red that goes down the sides. Oh, and she's got a really cool click belt, a black belt that clicks with, with a red, uh, plastic canvas. And then we do have a mock button for the front, and I think these are going to end up being more capris. More Capri-like. Um, okay, so what is our next gar bag? Our, this garment bag has a black and white checkers on it. That The black checkers are surrounded in like a barbed wire textured uh, metallic gold print. And then inside... Looks like we have the matching top. That's a thick cotton. Uh, is it cotton? Or is this... No, it's more like a, a a nylon. The sleeves are cotton, and the base of the shirt is nylon. But we have a red around the collar line and around the cuffs of the short sleeves. And then we have a little bit more of the black and white checks that go on around the side. And then the edging. Ooh, this is a jacket, I think. Okay, so it has a real zipper here. It doesn't zip, but the zipper's metal. So that is pretty cool. That's nice. So I, it's a jacket. Okay. So let's take a look at our girl, and then we'll get her dressed up. Should we? Sh let's get her dressed. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at her dressing room. I don't even know. I'm all over the place again. So in here we have her little her little secondary room. We can get that. Uh, if we can get a close up of that. It says downtown open mic featuring MC Swag. Um, 888, or 808 Brass Jams. And then we have this cool black chair, black and midnight blue chair, that has like a little bit of a swerve there. You can see down to the bottom. And then we have some cool blue hanging lights, light bulb type lights there. And then on the other side, let's see if we can get that to close up. On the other side, we have, um, it looks like some sketching, some sketch drawing, and some camo prints and stuff like that. And it looks like a little picture of her little sister, um, a picture of her boots, some more camo prints, another bulletin board on the bottom that shows different circles different art type things. It says for the young and the young at heart. Oh, one. And then we have, it looks like a little nod up to monster high. Oh, monster high would not be, well, there's a skull there. <laughs> monster high would not, they would be not doing a monster, a monster high nod up since they don't own that brand. <sighs> All right. So then we open this up that we have a little bit of gene action up here and a t-shirt. It says dressing room. Strut your stuff. A little sister down there. Open it up. We have a BB Boutique shoe box and an empty hanger on the inside. And then it looks like we have one more blind bag to open before we get to her. Okay. Let's see if we can get that out. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out. Okay, guys. I went ahead and I, and I took um, the rest of her out. All of her her pops and snaps out 
off camera. So here is um, one that says BB Boutique. This is probably her purse. Ooh, okay. I think that's the only thing in there. Okay, she's got this really cool purse. Uh, stop bouncing camera. Okay. She has this really cool purse that has a red strap on here, a little buckle that's painted in metallic silver, and then we have the white and black pattern here that kind of is almost in the shape of a hexagon, like a stop sign almost. And then she has this really cool handle that's also done in red with a little bit of metallic silver uh, clasps on those as well, and a metallic silver mock chain to go over your shoulder. And this purse actually opens up. So yeah, you can put stuff in there. Mine's a little bit warped. I'm a little worried about that. But I think I can figure out how to get it to close. Maybe, hopefully. It just needs to work its way in a little. Okay, I don't like the, um, the mock clasp on that. I feel like after a few times of it getting open and closed, that's going to break off. So that does worry me. And the, it doesn't really close proper. But I think maybe with her wearing it, it might be okay. Hopefully. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to put that down. Oh, also one more note. They are back to, which I said that they would, they're back to the actual playset uh, stalls as they did in the rest of series two. And this is a real mirror. So this will peel off and you'll be able to look at yourself or your doll in there. She can strut her stuff. Okay, so let's check out, uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dress the, our girl uh, off camera and then we'll just take a look at her all together. Um, hmm, yeah, uh, maybe we'll look at her first because we wanna see her undergarments. I had a little bit of a hard time getting her hair out and then it became ultimately static static clinging so that's pretty bad but her hair's wicked soft guys it's not dry at all and it's gorgeous um, it's gorgeous in almost a okay so you've got this dark blue and then you have this light the light blue streaks in the middle of these ponytails the ponytails are tied and knotted with the actual hair on the top which I kind of like uh, there is a little bit of product in her bangs that keeps them down a little bit Mine are a little bit messed up, but it doesn't bother me too much. Uh, she has these two pieces in the front that also have um, some product in them, and they were kind of uh, twist-tied by themselves, so they definitely wanted to be kept in front. Her hair is very, very long. I'll show you that. It goes all the way down to her ankles. Even tied up. Uh, her eyebrows are a dark blue, just like the dark blue. Ah, uh, they are dark blue. Actually, they're more of the lighter blue than the dark blue. I don't know. Her hair's really, really pretty. It's really pretty how they did that. Anyhow, <laughs> she has uh, brown eyes, and then she has a, um, like a reddish, I guess it's like a reddish pinkish color uh, for her eyeshadow. She does have a, a little bit of blushing. Her lips are black and white, um, checkered to match her outfit. I'm not a huge fan. I wish they either did all white or all black with her lips and I would have been happier with that. But um, it's it's a cool look that goes with her personality so I'm gonna accept it. Um, she also has a little bit of a, if you guys can see that on her cheek, I'm gonna see if I can get it to focus a little bit better. Maybe not. It is a, uh, a black heart that's actually broken. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. There it goes. The camera didn't want to focus. It's actually a broken black heart, which is kind of neat. And my girl right there has a little bit of a problem with the paint issue. Uh, uh, she has a little bit of paint on her lip. I see it. Uh, it's not so bad. I wouldn't have picked her out if I could have seen her. But it all comes back to that type of thing. And I, I bought her knowing that I wasn't going to be able to look. So <laughs> I can't really be upset at anyone but myself. Anyhow, so here's her top here. Her top is a little bit different. It's bizarre too. So you got a spaghetti strap that's made in, I guess, kind of a ribbony material over here. Uh, the center part 
is black nylon, white nylon over here, and then we have a mesh net for a long sleeve on this side. That's done. I want to say, I'm going to call that salmon because it's not quite pink, not quite red, so that's salmon. And then we have a salmon color and the nylon that goes around the waist. It is a high waisted shirt, so you can almost see her belly button. And then she has uh, nylon spandexy type biker shorts that are black on the edges. And then you have uh, the inner part is, I don't know, I wouldn't just say that it was black and white checkered, but it's more like black and silver tone checkered. I don't know if you can see the difference between the silver tone and the white on the top, but it's subtle. And then uh, that salmon color again on the bottom to line the ends of the of them. And she uh, is a little bit loose on the waist, but she's going on a stand anyway, so she should be okay. She has a medium uh, tone to her um, her skin color, so she's not the darkest of all OMGs, but she's not. Well, it's definitely not the lightest. Um, and oh, also her her hands, her her nails, are alternated black and white for her long acrylic nails. Uh, so let's go ahead and get her dressed, and I'll show you her finished look. So before I show you the complete look, I just wanted to show you that this belt is an actual separate piece. It's not part of the. Um, it come. It could take it off, and it and it clips. It clips on, just like this, if I can get it to clip on. I know it wants to. <laughs> yeah, so it clips on right like that. It's very, very, very neat. Okay guys, so here she is all made up. Um, I definitely like her look. Uh, she's definitely different than all the rest of them, and I can say that about every single one of them. Uh, so, Downtown BB has a couple of issues with her, uh, which, you know, could be considered nitpicky, but can, but I'm a collector, and, you know, I paid $26.99 to have her, uh, to add her to my collection. I have a little bit of a beef with uh, the, the, the uh, bangs on, on how they're glued here. They're a little messed up. That is something I can deal with. Um, a little bit of paint issue going on in her lips over here in the corner. We're missing some paint. That is annoying to me. I probably, like I said, I would not have picked her out uh, if I was able to see that flaw um, outside of her box. Uh, her purse does not stay clasped. It, it falls open, no matter what I do. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get that to clamp shut. I, it's something that might actually have to be super glued, but that's a terrible shame. Because the whole point of it being able to open up is part of its functionality. Um, so, yeah. those, And then also the loose waist. But I've had a loose waist before on some of them. And that's something that's, I think, nitpicky. Uh, well, mine are pro most of my dolls are going to end up being displayed anyway. And the, the stands themselves are pretty strong. And hold the girls where they need to be. Um, other than those things like she's absolutely gorgeous her hair is long beautiful and soft uh, the fact that she's got real zippers on her the, the, the attention to detail with the clothing is never is is never a fail and it's always amazing uh, the belt is amazing too how you know you don't really see separate belts anymore they're usually either a pretend belt that's painted on or a belt that's been sewn into the actual uh, the garment itself, so that's a really cool thing as well to, to be able to have. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I forgot to mention, if you didn't couldn't tell already, the stand's like a transparent orangey red, and this is the little seat part where you can sit them down. I prefer not to use them because, well, they don't have articulation on their legs. I mean, they got the bent click knees, but they don't have the... Uh, they don't have the type of articulation that some other fashion dolls have to be able to let them sit, so they just kind of look funny. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but to each their own, it's nice to be able to have a different option. That's kind of cool. Uh, other than that, I have nothing else to say about this girl. I'm, I'm excited to have her and add her to my collection. 
and that I didn't have to pay the hundred and something dollars to get the big box to uh, to get just her, because I'm not really interested in the smaller ones, and a lot of us, you know, that collect the bigger dogs aren't, so this is a very exciting thing. <laughs> uh, comment below, do you have her already? Um, are you planning on getting her in this uh, single form? Do you, if, if you do have her already from the big box, is there something different about her that, uh, that the other one had or didn't have? Uh, comment below, just, you know, say hi. <laughs> So uh, we will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.